So tonight, I'm gonna challenge anybody that knows how to cut to do a four quarter challenge. And then to cut these all up and then have them laid out. But basically tonight, I'm just gonna show everybody how to do it. Four quarters. So these are all elk and I'm gonna show you how to no, I'm not going to show you. That's all you going to do. Just watch. Forget your cast though, for real. We always use cast for our pepperoni sticks and whatnot. Or summer sausage or anything like that. Peel a little bit off. Everybody that will be scrutinizing it. So this is the first one. That will not be bagging this up. I'll be showing you the cuts for it. I'm breaking it down. Of course, this is all jerky status, so. And then burger. This is one hind quarter right here. And I'll keep it right there. That's a roast. Starting on my second one right now. Take this part, the top of the little plank away. Take the top part. So put it out. Bring that away. Down from the knuckle. Cut it, put it back. Bring it back. Lay that back to the knuckle. Come back through the knuckle right here. You still flip it away from the cap. And you always lift it up from the ball joint. Lift it up. And then cut towards yourself. Very carefully, by the way. And then back to the knuckle. And then you're going to bring it all out. And this is what it will what you'll have. Chop brown, your brown, your, your bottom round, and your eye round. I asked everybody that in the previous one. Nobody answered it. Obviously you guys weren't eyeing around. There's a seam right here. And you can cut it right down the seam. Okay. 
here's your roast, your rounds, whatever. If you're cutting steaks, you go like this. But we're not, it's all about jerky and burger. We need to learn something. So we're gonna cut it right here in the front of it. By the way, it's jerky, so that's why it's not rounds. This part will put a burger. Then we'll take our next cut. Calves again. That is it. Then I'll run to here to the bottom part of it. So we're gonna get the back of it. Then we'll get this part right here. over it, maybe a little bit of trim, other than that, legit. And our next one, here we come. You notice I'm still on my first sharpen, so it tells you a lot about how you can handle the knife if you're going to keep cutting when you're doing your first sharpen. Peel it all back. Then bring it back again. Then right here at the knuckle, we'll get the rest of it. We'll make that burger or jerky. Either one, doesn't matter. It's all golden. And then come back down from the bone, come back around from the knuckle, bring it back like that. Same thing right here, bring it back. And then go back around, pull the top up, go back down to the main leg. And notice how I always will pull it up. We didn't always get this up. And bring it down from the knuckle. We'll set that down for now. We're still gonna go over our main part of our cut. The bottom, the upper, and the eye notch. Well, we're getting rid of this because this is this is nothing to do because it has a lot of hair and dirt in it. So we're gonna just get rid of it. Get rid of all of this. And we're gonna break it down real quick like. For our burger and our jerky, which is both of these are gonna be tricky. We'll cut this jerky, flip it around. Then this part we have to cut on here. Take that out, and then this is our main jerky part. Cut those out. Here's our roast slash. Round cuts. And then we're gonna cut this in half. We'll take all the red, the regular stuff, the junk off of it, and we'll cut in half. We're not making round steaks. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Here comes the the calf. So this will just gonna be our pepperoni steaks or burger. Um, what it takes. Flip it over. Go in. I feel like I'm already approaching 12 minutes, so. I'm gonna get it cutting. For the knuckle. Get it off of there. Bring it down.
So at this point, I missed a spot, so I'm gonna ask him to. I was promising myself I was gonna get through this without sharpening. Last one. Rally, rally, rally. Only take a sec. I know we already said 12 minutes. I know we're pushing 13, 14, 59. And nobody's gonna wanna watch. But it's fast enough to where, fast enough where it's slow enough where it is worth watching. From the knuckle, bring it down each side. Fire away on one side. Bring it down. I'm rejuvenated now to let my knife sharpen. Bring it out. Cut from the knuckle. Down from the knuckle. Get rid of the garbage. Get rid of it. Push this over. So there are seams and everything that you're cutting. I notched under the upper, whatever it is. There's seams to it. This is how you do it. So once you come across here, don't forget there's this one right here. The seams, we're making jerky, so we're cutting across. And then our our ropes, which that part is hamburger. So at this time, we're gonna clean it up, get rid of that, and our roast will still be in jerky. Take care of that. I know we're expiring, so I'm trying to hurry. And that's burger. And then here again is our calf. The last part of the cap we'll get right here. And now we'll go in the burger too. Felt like it took me like 20 minutes, but it, I hope it took like, I'm sure to everybody that how fast that is. Your challenge is do better than me.